welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's in my bag video. I am on a short day at work, hence the attire, so I've just got straight back in straight back into work. I've got straight back in from work and decided to film this what's in my bag. I will just get straight into it because no one likes a rambler. Okay, so my bag is this one. It is the Sydney bag from Fossil and it's in the colour Heritage Blue. I love this bag. It was a bit of a spontaneous purchase, which are always the best purchases, right? Yes. I feel very glowy. Am I glowy? Please tell me if I'm glowy. Anyway, um, it's a big, like, satchel bag. Um, I absolutely love the zips. I will show you. Look at that. Look at that. You can fit so much stuff in here. The leather's beautiful. It's really, really soft leather, um, which I love. I don't really like a hard leather much prefer a soft leather. Then you've got the short handles here and you've got a long handle that can be taken off as well. But I'll show the inside of the bag as normal once I've emptied it but the first thing you have is a little pocket on the back. Um, I do sometimes put my phone in it if I'm carrying the bag like quite close to me but if I'm having it over the shoulder I don't I put it in my bag but they're in the moment. Ooh, this is kind of gross. There is my bus ticket with a manky plaster attached to it. That's nice. The funny story behind that plaster is actually, I haven't hurt myself. Um, my nerves started to like chip, so I stuck a plaster on it so I wouldn't play with it because I'm a big one for picking nails that are like chipping and I need to not do it. So I distracted myself by sticking a plaster in it. It worked though, I still have my nail. Okay, onto the inside of my bag. I'm just gonna pull it out randomly and then whatever it is, it is. Oh wow, I'm really not doing well with filming today, am I? No. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm trying to drink more water actually, so I do try and carry a bottle of water around me all the time. Insta Dry from Sally Hansen. This is honestly my favourite top coat ever. I just I love it. It's a little bit of a pricey top coat for me anyway, but I swear by it, so I always, always buy it. This is nice. Here's a half eaten sausage roll. This was my breakfast this morning because I was on a short day I wasn't taking a lunch so I was like I'm gonna have to eat something otherwise I'm gonna get really hungry so I bought a massive sausage roll and clearly didn't finish it I also bought a chocolate chip flapjack but I did finish that one it was good my fossil purse and you may notice that we match yep that was done on purpose because that's just how cool I am again really really soft leather absolutely love it and then inside you've got the space for all of your cards um, and then you've got money, whatever, most of mine is actually receipts and not money. Um, and then you've got the coin, you've got the double popper actually before I go anywhere. I really love this double popper, so if your purse gets really full, I wish, you can just put it on there like a, you can put it on the higher one and then it bulges out a bit more. Um, and then you've got the money zip on the back. Love this purse. It's a weaver brush. This is the uh, 106, the powder brush and I carry it around with this powder which is the Stay Matte Rimmel. It's in translucent, is it? Yeah, transparent, not translucent. <laughs> See straight through me. This is one of my favourite, favourite powders. It's a matte powder, obviously, as you know. Um, and I'm a massive fan of matte. I'm not really into the whole like glowy skin kind of thing. It just kind of makes me look a bit greasy and sweaty and I don't really like that. So I carry that around with me all the time in every single one of my bags. Um, Fragrant Free Facial Wipes from Halo. I got these in, wow, it really is glowy. Um, I got these in a beauty box, I can't remember which one it was, but I love them and they're so small and easy, just throw in your bag. So I just use these if I'm like wanting to take my makeup off early when I'm on the way home or anything like that. It's always good to have some wipes there. Next is a receipt for petrol, that's a depressing receipt. Repeat prescription reminder. A hand sanitizer. I'm a big fan of washing my hands, so hand sanitizer is a must in my bag. But it's cucumber and garden mint, so it actually smells quite nice. I hate the smell of like, yeah, it is nice. Those alcoholic ones, ooh, I hate the smell of alcohol hand sanitizers, they're just disgusting. There's a crumpled up bus ticket. Paracetamol, can't go wrong. Oh, it's actually a full packet, that's rarity, normally it's empty. EOS lip balm, I got this from Topshop and they're really sneaky, this one's really nice, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's Honeysuckle scent, I'm not 100%, but it's the green one, anyway. Um, but yeah, I got this from Topshop when I was purchasing um, the Dunbaree dress, but it was on the till and there was no price on the till, they were on the bottom here, but I didn't look, I just kind of picked it up and was like, yeah I'll have that too. £7! 
these are seven pounds so it better last me for like ever i have to say though i do really like it it is a lovely lip balm and it's so easy to use as for lip balm not easy to use but you know what i mean with i really like the domed top it's just quick done this is my mac um pink plaid i love this it's my perfect everyday lipstick it's always in my bag or always in my makeup bag and i just whack it on and we're good to go pouch from Lynx, which is covered in hair, which is disgusting. Um, and that's got my iPhone headphones in. I don't actually ever use them though, so I don't really know why I carry them around in my bag, but you can guarantee there will be one point that I won't take them and I'll need them, and then what am I gonna do exactly? Martin Brown London little sample, it's a body lotion, and it's in the scent Ylang Ylang. Um, a girl I work with went and bought her dad a birthday present from there. And I'm not quite sure what happened, but something went wrong with something and she got given loads of samples, so she gave me this one because it smells amazing. <clears throat> I cannot wait to use this. In fact, I'm gonna use it today, I've decided. 30, thanks, thank you. 30 mil though for a sample, so you actually get quite a lot in their samples. My car keys, my Ray-Bans, which were a birthday present, so you've all seen them, I will show you them though. Um, it's just these ones. They're the Polaroid like classics, I think. They're lovely. I love them. That's the main pocket. As you can see, look, we're empty now. So you can actually fit so much more. Normally, because my hair's up, I didn't take it, but normally I've got my Tangle Teaser in there as well, um, and that takes up a lot of room. And I didn't take a lunchbox, but normally I have my work lunchbox in there too. So you can fit a lot of stuff in these bags. It's crazy. On to, we'll go to the back pocket. So this is a zip pocket, but I never zip it for some reason. The genuine leather card, I've still got that. A tin for my lady things. Work keys, very practical pocket that one, isn't it? The front pocket, I've got hay fever tablets. House keys, with my cool Harry Potter keyring, where the plating of it has come off and it's really annoyed me. But yes, a bit of HP. The bracelet that I've obviously popped in my bag so that I wear at work and then haven't worn it, I've put this one on instead. It is empty, I'll show you, well I don't know if you'll see, but I'll try and show you the inside of the bag. Because if you look at the back, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. You've got this little bit here, so you can attach your keys to this, which I would do, but it sits too low in the bag and it's just way too much effort to try and drag your keys out there. And then you've got the zip pocket here, and then you've got card inserts here if you want to put your put, <laughs> if you want to put your cards in there, you can. Um, I wouldn't personally because. I like my purse, but if you didn't want to carry a purse around, you can just warp them in there and you're good to go. It might be quite good if you've got like, if you're going, you're parking in a multi-story or something and you've got like one of those parking cards, it'd be really good for that too. That is everything that is inside my bag. Um, I love watching these videos, they're always a bit fun, I'm really nosy, so... Also, it's more effective, I like to look at other people's bags and see what they can fit in their bag and if I should get it because it's practical and I think if it's practical, that's a very good excuse to buy something, in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've done a What's My Bag video recently, make sure to link me to it. I absolutely love watching them. Um, I could watch them for hours. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!